The Lady Falcons advanced in the first round of District 8 AAA tournament action last night, defeating Tullahoma's Lady Wildcats for the third time this season. Let's pick up some of the play-by-play -play with WYTM's Michael Cothran and Brian Neese. That's why he boxed out the shooter right there. That ball bounced right back to her. And uh, had nobody boxed out the shooter, which sometimes you forget to do, she would have been wide open, had a good shot. And right back to the basket. Yep. Story with the basketball. Looks to go around the defender, kicks it out to Miller. Hey. Back up to Buchanan, down low to King. King spins in the lane, float her up. Uh, 26 to 8. Lady Falcons with the lead. Faulkner back up to Miller. Now Buchanan on the left wing. Looking down low, back to Story. Buchanan down to King on the low block. Turn, spins, pop, shot. Uh, <laughs> real well off the bench, man. That's her uh, eighth point. To Buchanan, deep in the court. Fakes the shot, goes baseline, kicks it back into King. Ball's tipped around. Faulkner comes away with it. She puts the shot off the glass. It's no good. Buchanan with the rebound. She'll get it out for Story. Story goes in, kicks out, gives it to Faulkner. Faulkner dribbles in, puts the runner up. Good job. She had the, the baseline open the whole way, saw that. Drove in, got an easy bucket. 20 from the floor, one of eight behind the arc. As you mentioned, the only thing that uh, really is getting points from the free throw line right now, they're six of seven. Now Buchanan with a three-pointer on the way, it's no good. Faulkner gets the rebound, takes it in, almost makes the basket, but she is fouled. Faulkner right now is living off that offensive rebound coming off that left team. Yeah, first, first. Samantha Williams. Okay, so. in, knowing what to do. Faulkner free throw, free throw up and good. Makes it 32 to 15. Posting up. Not yet. Ball comes to his spears. Puts one out for the last shot. Just no good. Gets on rebound. Goes back to the spot. That's what you want to see when a freshman comes in the game. Two rebounds and two points. Hustles back on defense. Is it to Story? Story looks to penetrate. Kick out to Miller, back to Story. Now left wing to Faulkner. Everybody moving, working. Sam gets the feed, goes up the bench. And within a minute, minute and a half, you got feed down low to Sam. She puts up a shot. It's no good, but she is fouled. The foul's going to go against, I believe, Alexander. That'll be her third. Well, I have a mark. Person on the way. Good. Double team story to try to keep her from getting the basketball because no, she's going to take the last shot. Here we go at five. Story with the ball. Looks to penetrate. Four, three, runner in the lane. Shot's no good. And that'll be the way the first half comes to an end. Lady Falcons up. 37. Good luck all of a sudden here. It's going to be Buchanan picking up her third foul, team seven. There's no doubt she'll remember that. So far on the night, one of two. You know, the old saying goes, you're going to foul them, foul them. Panthers first free throw made, Coach. Make them remember it. Cooper made the, made the statement every time. If you're going to foul them, make sure they don't make the basket. <laughs> Takes it down Main Street, feed the King, King shot. Just great court vision there by Kevin Story. And King able to finish it off underneath. Kyle King off the bench tonight, nine points. Back after the timeout. Lady Falcons basketball. Buchanan beats the press, gets it off to Slate. Three pointer in the corner by Graham. Yeah, Graham, four three pointers tonight. Just four or five. Those are the only shots she's taken in the game. Got 12 points. First free throw by Story, ice in the veins of the junior. She drains it up in the game. Yeah. 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 Second free throw is made. Buchanan, Higgins, Story, Graham, and Faulkner on the floor right now for the Lady Falcon. Foul, foul, look up here. High foul. Hand check. Real court work. Deflect down and off to Tullahoma. 2.30 left here in the match. Story looks to pitch right, gives it to Higgins. Higgins goes up, battle scores. Higgins will go to the line to try to finish the three point play. And again, as I mentioned uh, the last time Tullahoma was here, a few uh, days ago, a few weeks ago, whatever, uh, Tullahoma's not going to win this game here tonight. But this is a much improved Tullahoma team over season's past.
No good. Higgins comes in, gets the rebound, and off the story. Story will uh, be hassled, give the balls half court. And that game again is at 6 o'clock tomorrow night in the uh, mm -hmm. 7 o'clock, but it is at 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Good feed from Story. And that she has got her double double and still two rebounds away from a triple double. Ten points and ten assists for Story tonight. Shot put up by McDonald's, no good. Faulkner gets the rebound and she is high the mark again. Second one on the way. It is good. Nothing at the bottom of the net. 64 49. Lady Falcons with the lead. Had to get those butterflies out. Had to get them out of the way first. There you go. And that's how it finished with Lincoln County High School's Lady Falcons defeating Tullahoma's Lady Wildcats in the first round of tournament action, 64-49. to 49.